Hello, welcome back again. Vectors. Uh, OACB is a quadrilateral. OA is equal to 3A, OB is equal to 4B, and BC is equal to 2A minus 2B. A part 1 says find the vector OC in terms of A and B. Simplify your answer. So the vector OC is equal to OB uh, plus BC plus BC. We can see that here because um, here OC is this line here. So we're going to give that 4B, uh, that's equal to 4B, OB is 4B, and then plus 2A minus 2B. And that gives us 2A plus 2B. So that gives us 2a plus 2b, and that's the vector OA. So that's the vector OC. Um, uh, part 2, find the vector AB in terms of A and B. So let me just write down the answer for OC, which is 2a plus 2b. Um, AB now... Um, uh, and I'll write it here, the vector AB is equal to, um, that's going to give me, let's go back to the diagram, uh, AO, AO plus OB. So that's AO plus OB is equal to AO and plus O B and we have A O which in the diagram is minus three A minus three A plus four B and that's as simple as you're going to get it. So there's no simplified version of that, so it's just minus three A plus four B or four B minus three A. Now uh, this is the part that most students dread. The point P lies on AB and on AC. Using a vector method, find the ratio AP to PB. So let's go back to the diagram and we will call this here, because I don't know this distance AP, so I'm going to call that lambda. And uh, if that if AP is lambda, then PB must be one minus lambda, um, because that's the whole unit, and I'm taking away lambda, so that will tell me what PB is. And similarly, O to P I don't know either, so I'm going to call that mu. And of course, if OP is mu, then PC must be one minus mu. Um, now, I'm going to look at the vector AP, going back to um, the question. So if I look at the vector AP, AP must be equal to lambda AB, lambda AB, lambda multiplied by the vector AB. And let's just go back to the diagram. Yep, lambda AP is lambda multiplied by the distance of minus 3A plus 4B. So let's do that and uh, we'll find things out. So um, put things in. So I've got lambda, lambda multiplied by um, AB, which is minus 3A plus 4B or 4B minus 3A, as you like. Um, and that's equal to, um, and I'll put minus 3 lambda A plus 4 lambda B. Now, um, using the same uh, thing, uh, AP, um, I could get another way, um, uh, which is uh, using our other uh, value of mu. So I can also say um, uh, AP 
is equal to AP, and I can write or here, AP because it's the same vector method, AP is equal to AO, let's have a look at this, AO from the diagram, AO, AO plus OP. So I'm going from here to here, AO, A to O, and O to P. So let's do that. So AP is also equal to AO plus OP. And let's substitute these values in. We'll find that AO, we know that that's minus 3A from the diagram, and then plus mu OP. Or, sorry, mu, and then not OP, OC, because it's only part of, um, OP is only part of OC. Can you see that here? OP is only part of the whole thing, which is OC. So it's mu times uh, OC, the vector OC. And now I'm going to substitute the values in. So minus, that's just step by step. You don't have to do that. So it's minus 3A uh, pl uh, plus, and then mu, and then the value, which is 2A plus 2B. 2A plus 2B. And that gives you minus 3A uh, plus 2 mu A plus 2 mu B. And um, you can factorize that. Um, you can take uh, minus 3A plus 2 mu A and then take A out as a factor. So I'll write it, I'll do it step by step. So minus 3A, let's get it together, plus 2 mu A and put that in brackets. Uh, to show you what I'm doing, and then we've got plus 2 mu b, because we're going to equate coefficients and then solve simultaneously. That's the procedure when we're dealing with lambda and mu. So now I will take out um, my factor of a, which is, so I'm left with minus 3 plus 2 mu, and of course a becomes a factor outside, and then plus 2 mu b. So that's nice. And uh, that gives me, I can, um, uh, let's go back up and let's write up here. And that gives me um, uh, minus 3 lambda is equal to, um, well, I've got uh, minus 3 lambda a, and uh, minus 3 plus 2 mu. So I've got minus 3 lambda a here, and minus 3 plus 2 mu here. So I can equate the coefficients of a, so therefore I can say minus 3 lambda is equal to minus 3 plus 2 mu, minus 3 plus 2 mu, equating the coefficients of a. Um, and if I equate the coefficients of b, so that's a, and if I create the co equate, sorry, the coefficients of b, I've got uh, 4 lambda and 2 mu. So I've got 4 lambda is equal to 2 mu, which means that uh, 4 divided by 2 lambda is equal to mu, which means that 2 lambda is equal to mu. Now I can solve simultaneously. I'm going to put uh, mu uh, is equal to 2 lambda in uh, my equation 1. So let's call that equation 1. Whoops, that's equation 1. And of course, uh, this is equation 2. So I'm going to substitute 2 in 1. So I end up with minus 3 lambda is equal to minus 3 plus 2 times 2 lambda. And that gives me uh, minus 3 lambda is equal to minus 3 uh, plus 4 lambda. 
that's nice. So that gives me uh, uh, 3 is equal to 7 lambda, which means that lambda is equal to 3 over 7. If lambda is equal to 3 over 7, uh, if, and I'm right, if lambda equals 3 over 7, then 1 minus lambda, uh, that's AP, then uh, AP, AP, let's go back to the diagram, AP, A to P is, is lambda, that's giving me 3 over 7. Then P to B must be 1 minus lambda. So if AP, if lambda is equal to 3 over 7, then AP is equal to 3 over 7. And therefore, PB, PB must be equal to 1 minus 3 over 7, which is equal to 4 over 7. So um, AP to PB, AP to PB, which is the question that they want you to find, um, AP to PB, the ratio, must be uh, 3 over 7 to 4 over 7 is equal to 3 over 7 to 4 over 7 and therefore the ratio must be 3 to 4. And that's 5 marks.